Good evening. A Sussex cleaning company which has been taken to employment tribunal at least a dozen times and is said to owe staff tens of thousands of pounds says it's done nothing wrong. 30 people who have worked for Express Construction Cleaning, a company based in Eastbourne, claim they're owed more than £30,000 between them. Well, the local MP is examining the claims that the domestic and commercial cleaning firm is deliberately exploiting workers. Our Home Affairs correspondent Colin Campbell has tonight's exclusive report. Angry and unpaid, these are just a handful of Express Construction Cleaning's former employees. More than 30 have been left chasing payment of in excess of £30,000. It ruined my life, basically. Ian Barrett worked for Express Construction Cleaning for a month. He says they owe him £1,600. He says they laid him off after he raised concerns about payment. Now on antidepressants, he blames the company for the breakup of his relationship. It's very hard to just forget about it, the amount of money, the effort, the hard work that was put in, um, the constant bouncing of checks, um, the, the, the no response at all. Um, it plays on your mind night and day. I've woken up at four or five in the morning. The company has its headquarters in Eastbourne, a domestic and commercial cleaning firm. It describes itself as professional, affordable, efficient and friendly, unless they owe you money, say former employees. Seems that the phone's just ringing and ringing on his mobile. Single father of two, Anthony Coop, worked six days for the company. He says the hours were long, the work hard. Like many, all he says he's received are repeat false promises of payment. Thankfully, I, I got out after a relatively short period of time. Um, I still feel that they took advantage of me. And the fact that I've got two children, you know, it, it's, just, it's just like uh, they were rubbing it in my face. Um, we're not paying you. A contract of employment issued by Express Construction Cleaning states working hours of 50 per week with a salary of £220, which equates to £4.40 an hour, well below the national minimum wage. The company denies it pays beneath the national minimum. Eastbourne Citizens Advice Bureau say they've been overwhelmed by disgruntled former employees. It's been the biggest single issue that we've been dealing with over the, the past 12 months and we're concerned that other people shouldn't be affected. We're also aware that there are people who haven't actually approached the Bureau for help, so the problem could be actually far greater than the clients we've seen. It's little secret here in Eastbourne that Express Construction Cleaning has issues when it comes to paying its staff. Many of those whose wages have gone unpaid believe the company is operating a deliberate policy to exploit its workers. What's for certain, the company is causing real heartache and hardship. This is returning checks. Uh, I now received my wages for July and August. Nothing at all? Nothing, nothing to this moment. Ileana Elenska has given up chasing the £3,000 she says the company owes her. I'm so, so angry about this case because uh, this job was uh, very, very difficult and I worked very hard, uh, me and other people. Uh, they are big, big liars. Company director Alfred Marku declined our offer to be interviewed. In a statement he said we pay all our cleaners in full and only deduct pay if work is of a very unacceptable standard or if they had repeat absence. He said workers are aware wages will be deducted if they fail the trial period or break the terms of their contract, adding there is absolutely no way that express construction cleaning would ever exploit cleaners. So what do you think was really going on inside this company? It's a scam. It, it's basically um, a, a, a legal scam. They're, they're milking it probably for as much as they can get it. Over a dozen employment tribunal rulings ordering the company to compensate staff who've been unpaid, had wages unlawfully deducted, or who've been wrongfully dismissed have been issued. Express Construction Cleaning continues to employ staff. Sadly, many former workers are still chasing hard-earned cash they're owed. Colin Campbell, BBC South East Today, Eastbourne. Well, I'm joined now uh, from Westminster by Stephen Lloyd, who's the MP for Eastbourne, also the chair of the all-party parliamentary group for the Citizens Advice Bureau. Mr Lloyd, thank you very much for being with us. I, I understand you're actually prepared to lobby the government about changing the law on this kind of situation. Well, yes, yeah, so because clearly what this quite reprehensible company, Express Construction Cleaning Limited, are doing 
is that they are flouting the law because a number of constituents came to me. I also work very closely with the CAB over the last six or seven months or so and there is a pattern. Basically, even when it goes to employment tribunal and they lose because, frankly, they're running a scam, they then don't actually pay the fine or the back pay that they're actually supposed to. So what we've got is a situation where it's civil law and the police under civil law don't get involved. And so what that happens when you've got an unscrupulous company like Express Construction Cleaning Limited is they just ignore it and they're attacking vulnerable people who don't have the funds to keep chasing them. So I'm really quite certain that the time has come and there are many other companies who have been doing these things over the years where I think the coalition government actually has to explore about how we can maybe make these criminal acts rather than civil and then the police can get involved and then people like Express Construction Cleaning will be absolutely forced to pay up or frankly they'll be sent to jail. OK, I mean these are all very strong allegations obviously that you're, you're putting out there about Express. They're not here to defend themselves. They might say that uh, they're not doing anything wrong and that they are only uh, sticking to their own terms and conditions and if people fail to work properly then they deduct money from their probationary pay. You've what? written to them. What have they said to you? I, I, well they haven't even responded. I've written to them I've lobbied, I've worked with the CAB, frankly they just